So ASA is developed a model to describe the roles of producers, consumers, and decomposers in a community. And it means that we develop simple models to construct the flow of energy through food chain and food and including producers, consumers, and Sound symbol, that is your your cue to read out loud, okay? So for example, I can show you so that you all know. So you see this sound symbol up here? So once we get there, I'm gonna call on someone to read aloud. And right now, I'm gonna leave you gonna be my first person, okay? To help us with our ecosystem. Alright? So what is ecosystem? An ecosystem includes all of the to truly understand um, parts of this standard. So we know that a living thing is what? What's that A word right there? Alive. Alive, all right? It needs nourishment. And living things, people, and animals. A non-living thing is not alive. So like a rock or like a bus. So which of these things are living, which are non-living? So what we are going to do, we're going to skip... For time's sake, we're going to skip that video as well. And I'm going to share this PowerPoint with you all, and you all can actually watch this video yourselves. Hold on, Kalia. Did you mean to do that tonight? Okay. All right, so we're going to do this activity really quickly, and then we're just going to see if you guys can distinguish between living and non-living. So we have this cat and this dog right here. We know that that goes where? Living. Living good. All right. What about the clock? No living. No living. Life. And I wish there was some way that I could drag this. But what I will do is I think I can write on it. I'm going to uh -oh, use my pen. All right. And we said the cat, uh, the clock goes non living. What about the ice cream? Non living. Non living. All right. What about that cat? Living. All right, what about the school bus? No, living. No. And I couldn't really see what that was, so we're going to skip that one. What about that match right there? No, living. No, living. No, living. Good. What about that flower? Living. No flowers. Living. Good. All right, pencils. 
Non-living. Non-living. The baby. Living. Living. Right. All right. So I think you guys pretty much have the hang of that. But what I am going to do. No, we'll just do the first row. All right. So that we have time to go to our things. So like I said, here's a more um, interactive food chain. This was kind of before to kind of introduce you guys to food chains. But we're going to come back to that one tomorrow. So we're going to go ahead and look at this video really quickly. I'm going to put the link in the description box. I mean, not the description box. I'm sorry. The um, the chat. And then you guys can go to it so that we can watch it together. Or either what I can do is show it on my screen and you all can tell me if you all hear it. If not, I'm just going to put in the link. So I'm going to share my screen, reshare it. light energy from the sun, carbon dioxide from the air, and water from the soil to produce food in the form of glucose sugar, all right? So what we're looking at now is producers, consumers, and decomposers. These are all the roles of um, organisms play in what different organisms play in the ecosystem, all right? So goes that sound again. So what I need, and I think I'm going to go to Kylie. Kylie, can you read about what this
animals that eat only animals. Then you have omnivores, which are animals that eat both animals and plants, all right? So humans are what? what which one do we think humans are? Do we think that we're herbivores, carnivores, or omnivores? Omnivores. Omnivores. Good, okay, because we do what? Well, some of us eat both what? Animals and plants. Good. All right, so there goes that sound signal again. So let's see who else is on the call that has not read. Here, here. No. All right, Kenneth or Devin, if you all could just put a thumbs up. Own food cannot make their own food are called consumers. All animals are consumers that have to eat other living things to get energy. What kinds of living things do consumers eat? The answer depends on the type of consumers. Cows, horse, goats, and sheep eat plants. An animal that eats plants is an herbivore. Herbivore. Large fat. Hey, hold on. Let's let's say that. Say that again. Herbivore. Herbivore. Large fat teeth help carnivores get. We're not at kind of carnivores yet. Herbivores. Huh? Herbivores. Herbivores. <laughs> All right, grind leaves and stem. All right, so there's another sound signal, and if I can get someone to pick up on that one who has not read, I think Devin, Devin, does your sound work? Oh. 